In the city of Morden, it's late February and the grass is showing on many lawns. Outside the city, fields are bare dirt, the result of an unusually warm and unusually dry winter, not the type of winter Mayor Nancy Penner was hoping for. We are short on water. That has prompted the city to enter what's known as a moderate drought stage. The designation, part of a plan the city commissioned to help it and its residents better respond to extreme drought events. For a moderate drought, residents and businesses are simply asked to conserve water. Cut down on car washes, hotels and restaurants asked to only serve guests water on request. This comes as much of southern Manitoba, including Morden, has received less than half the normal amount of winter precipitation. That is fueling concerns about another severe summer drought, something Morden went through in 2021. The increasing frequency of dry years has Mayor Penner not shying away from blaming climate change. Major events happen overnight and we're seeing those extremes. So. Yes, I think we are seeing, um, and I, where Morden is situated in the middle of the continent, we are situated for those stream, extreme climate events just because of our geographic location. This is Lake Minnewasta. This is where the city of Morden gets its drinking water from. And right now the water level here is about a meter and a half lower than it should be for this time of the year. And even with normal precipitation, Mayor Penner says that won't be enough to fully fill up this reservoir, which could lead to more stringent water restrictions come spring. Penner says what her city really needs is another water source to keep up with demand. That doesn't come without help from both the federal and provincial side with funding. Uh, we are working diligently to meet those needs because this community and the surrounding area is just growing so fast. The cost of that water source, Penner says, has ballooned from $24 million five years ago to now over $100 million. Environment and Climate Change Minister Tracy Schmidt says she is committed to working with other levels of government to build more water infrastructure. We are aware of the issues in Morden and they're quite serious. And we're, our department is already working very closely with the municipality of Morden. Jack Lindsay is an associate professor in the Department of Applied Disaster and Emergency Studies at Brandon University. He says emergency management and mitigation aren't as well funded in Canada as they should be but credits Manitoba for making some strides. I would say that Manitoba Emergency Measures has turned a corner and is, is really pursuing some of the right directions, uh, less response focused and becoming more engaged in mitigation and risk reduction. Penner is hoping a repeat of 2021 severe drought is not on the horizon. Everybody needs to be aware of our limited resources and everybody needs to play a part in this. She said more public education is key in getting area residents on board. Riley Lechuk, CBC News, Morden.